Hey, good day everyone. Apologies for having the start out of my office. Um, I have a couple pa uh, parts on my side that went wrong. First of all, I forgot my uh, I forgot to bring my GoPro back from the workshop uh, last weekend. That's why there was no video. Um, but even then, there was actually not that much to show. We literally spent one and a half days trying to get the rear brakes to fit. So what happened? Um, the ones I ordered were from a company called Dynamic Friction uh, via Rock Auto and they were supposed to fit on the rear. Now, when we tried to mount them, we noticed that some of the holes, they are slightly off or some of them are simply missing, um, like the lower one for, for the lower spring basically. So we, we, we drilled holes, we cut off parts, we just tried to make them fit and at some point we just thought like it's not a good idea to continue because we still had like half a millimeter missing to get the brake drum above um, the brake itself so they were always like blocking each other out um, so after checking again on Rock Auto I noticed that even though they were all labeled as um, a brake pad or yeah brakes for the rear um, there were the ones from Bosch and the Ray Bestos were looking slightly different and the holes actually lined up more to our to what we saw. Now I threw the old brakes or the brake pads at least, I threw them away in advance because they were blocking quite a bit of space and I basically hold them next to each other. They looked fine, same size and everything. But what I didn't notice is that on the top end, it's more like a pointy tip. Whereas the ones I ordered now, the Rebestos, they're more flat. So that actually is what we try to make with the old ones. We just cut off these um, pointy ends and try to make them fit. But even then, they would not really fit. So I ordered last Saturday, Sunday the, uh, uh, the new pads from Rock Auto. But I ordered them to Germany because we have this stupid import restriction in Switzerland. Um, whenever you import it and you're a dealer that does, I don't know, like above $50,000 or francs or something uh, of, of business with Switzerland, you need to tax everything. Now, uh, Rock Auto says um, they will only deliver once you order for at least $75 because that's then when it starts to make sense to do like the official import duty. And yeah, so I ended up ordering them to Germany because in Germany you can pay the tax up front, meaning um, I'm not spending $20 just for the taxing, plus the tax itself, plus the shipping, plus the part. So with Germany it's a bit higher, it's like instead of 7.7%, it's 16% right now until the end of the year. But the good part about it is um, I can do it up front, meaning I'm not paying the 20 bucks for FedEx doing the taxing, so that's a good part. However, the problem is um, Germany just announced today that they will go in a full lockdown starting Wednesday. And uh, the package from FedEx was supposed to arrive already on Friday, but even Friday midnight, it still said uh, it will be delivered until 6 p.m., which it didn't obviously because it was midnight already. And now at the moment it says uh, unknown delivery date. I know it's in Germany, but last point was in Cologne I guess that's where the overseas shipment uh, arrived by plane and yeah so I, I sincerely hope that I will get them on on uh, Monday because otherwise I will not be able to pick them up until at least the 10th of January that's when until when the lockdown will at least last in Germany um, and the other problem we had was on the front um, you will see that the, the upper control arms are mounted already the lower ones are still missing um, I tried to mount them, but I could not find the right size or the right length of screws. The ones I have, they were way too long, um, and I'm a bit afraid to mount the two long ones, unless I'm, I'm really in a paranoia. Um, but I will now organize, uh, I will order four, uh, six new screws in total, um, just to be sure that they fit, because I don't want to do any experiments on the suspension, because if there, when something breaks, something major might happen. So that, that's uh, part of my update. Um, now I will let the rest of the video roll. Um, so once again, thanks everyone for watching um, and have fun with the content. Hey, good day everyone. Welcome to another weekend full of repo and FD goodness. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Yeah, we're back. Um, 
I'm sorry, I need to speak a bit louder because the diesel burner, the, the heater is running in the back. That's the noise that you hear, besides the battery, which is still chirping. Um, yeah, so, during the week, um, I was here once, I didn't film it though. Um, I prepared my own shim. So I took a 0.6 millimeter um, stainless steel um, sheet. And uh, yeah, I, I cut it in, in the way that it, it fits. Same opening in the middle, same holes, everything. It fits, but one thing we didn't try <laughs> was when we were uh, measuring the end play, we actually got more end play after putting it on. So only then it's, we, we started to think about it, it's like, well, hang on a second, maybe it's just too wide outside. Like the play comes from the, axle being too far out of the differential um, so we removed the thinnest shim that was already in there and yeah now we are at the 0 0.009 inches which is still 0 0.002 or 3 too high but can't be bothered like that that should be more than okay um, I, I really think it should be okay like this and my my friend thinks the same so we should be good to go on that one um, yeah, we are going to beat out these um, brake shields, I, I guess that's the name they have. Um, so you see already we have the, the, the brake rotor, no, the, the drums already on it, um, so it's straight, so we can beat it out, straighten it out even more. And yeah, then I will start mounting the rear brakes again. So the brake cylinders, uh, the handbrake cable, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, so goal today should be to have the brake or the rear axle actually all together and ideally mount it on the frame. Um, obviously mounting it afterwards, I will not be able to do it on my own. It's too heavy and everything. So my friend is, uh, with the FD is just picking up another colleague that got stranded. Um, his car doesn't run anymore. He's just picking him up. He should be back later in the afternoon and uh, I will also help him. We need to get down the uh, tank. So we need to drain it, take it all down because he has to, um, or he will install new brake lines. I think he will go for, for brake, sorry, for braided fuel lines because he will be running E85 on this car. So just to make sure that all the old uh, rubber hoses, that they're all replaced, that they're all E85 safe and uh, yeah. Besides, he will also replace the, the diff cooling and um, he's changing the clutch. I um, don't know if it's already in there or not. Yeah, so uh, that, that's his plan. Um, I would say let's get this going. Good evening everyone. Yeah, so quick update. There's not much of an update to be honest. As you can see, the axle is still sitting here. Um, main problem, the brake shoes doesn't fit. Um, we probably could make them fit, but we kind of stopped now because the, no, I'm gonna show you. The problem is basically that these thingies out here, let me show you. Like these corners here, this one on the other side, they are too big, they are too far apart. Which means that if we mount them on the plate, the shoes are rubbing out here. Uh, we cut this one already down, it's almost fitting, but again, it doesn't quite fit yet. 
we will need to trim even more and we're starting to get worried that at some point they will not um, like the orientation of the whole brake shoe will not work properly anymore meaning that the whole friction will go onto the brake drum that it's more like only a part of it is rubbing which will itself solve itself over time but we decided I will order another set um, this time from Ray Bestos so those are the ones from DFC dynamic friction control company whatever um, so I'm gonna order another set from Ray Bestos I hope at least from the pictures um, they fit a bit better so if we look here for example this hole here for the lower spring was not there so we drilled it and uh, also the one for the um, handbrake lever this this one in the back here um, it, it fits further inside and further down because right now even the the spring here is rubbing against the um, the brake cylinder the upper one so we just have a feeling that something is not quite right with these things so uh, just in case order another one and if they also don't fit we just need to somehow make it work I don't know yet how but we are positive that the ones from Ray Bestos might actually fit a bit better so um, I'm gonna place another order with uh, um, Rock Auto I hope they will deliver it during the week normally they should they're quite quick so I'm, I'm positive on that um, the only other update we did we prepared now the lower control arms for the guys going in here um, we now removed the outer uh, bushing or the outer sleeve because the ones on these they are welded in so we can't get them out meaning that uh, we had to remove it so in order to push these in that we should be ready on that we just need to clean out the old um, the, the old uh, parts these sleeves um, so there's no dirt no rust like nothing in there anymore um, that's to be done next and I quickly mounted the new engine mounts they're over here so they are mounted uh, meaning that the engine except for cleaning it up um, we it should be ready to go onto the frame but again on the le on the rear one no progress because again we need better fitting arms and next weekend we will definitely prepare the, uh, the front the lower control arms, the upper control arms, we try to get everything together so that at least the front stands on its uh, wheels. That would be ideal. But yeah, that, that's going to be it for my side for this for today. Um, I guess we'll see each other next weekend. The apologies, uh, I'm as disappointed as you are that we couldn't proceed much with the rear axle. Um, so I hope next week we get some progress done on that. Yeah, so I wish you all a good week and hopefully see you soon again next weekend. Um, yeah, leave a subscribe if you're liking what you see. I uh, would appreciate it and wish you a very good week. And again, see you next weekend. Take care, everyone. I'm out. Bye-bye.